Never mind, don't answer that. Well, uh, this is like fairy tale for everyone. You know, little girls that have their princesses and knights and shining on them. And for fans of robots and space and spaceships, we have Star Wars and our knights, knights and girls, princess in, in distress, robots and the scoundrel that is going on. I couldn't say it better, but when did you first get hooked onto this whole Star Wars fever? I was three, I think. How old are you now, Nicholas? I'm 33. Alright, so 30 years ago, which movie was it that did it for you? I don't remember. It was on VCR. Oh my goodness, VCR! <laughs> Many people this day and age would not know what that is. But alright, so it was on VCR. Which one was it? I saw, I think it's episode 4. Beautiful. So, I don't know what was going on on the screen, but I just stared at it. And I was listening to it, and I kept watching it again and again. Without knowing what, 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 what was going on, it's just magic. Alright, were you one of those like me, that went to the bubble when you are playing the Star Wars characters? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed about. It's all Star Wars fans here. So, this brand new Star Wars The Force Awakens, what are you looking forward to the most? Where is Luke Skywalker? From the trailers, of course, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, kind of, uh, well, leaving everybody wondering what's going to happen, where is he going to appear. Great job, Nicholas. Congratulations in about eight minutes. You're going to be getting your hands on those tickets. Let me see.